welcome to its topic in this video i am going to give the answers of chapter 6 that is javascript introduction to javascript class 10 computer science seva board objective type questions fill in the blanks a the alert box is used to display information to the user b a variable is a storage area where value is stored and retrieved when required c the modulus operator finds out the remainder d the increment decrement operator is a unary operator e the conditional operator uses question mark and colon character write true or false correct the false statement a the semicolon at the end of simple statement in javascript is mandatory false the semicolon at the end of simple statement is not mandatory b in javascript capital letter marks and small letter marks are treated as same variable false in javascript capital letter marks and small letter marks are treated as different variable c a simple statement must be enclosed in braces false a compound statement must be enclosed in braces d a compound statement consists of several instruction grouped in a block true uh, e the switch statement can only used to compare an expression against constant true multiple choice questions a which one is an invalid variable name in javascript correct option is one employee name number b a block statement enclosed within correct option is curly braces number c the statement used to exit from the switch case statement is correct option is break number d this takes number as input from the user correct option is prompt dialog box number e which one of this is not an arithmetic operator in javascript correct option is exponent number f equal equal is an correct option is relational operator descriptive type questions short answer questions number a what are the three types of data in javascript three types of data in javascript are string for example a hello number for example 145 12.6 12 boolean for example 0 or 1 number b how will you declare variable sub 1 sub 2 sub 3 in javascript answer var var sub 1 comma sub 2 comma sub 3 semicolon number c name different form of if statement answer different form of if statement are if if else and if else if number d name three logical operator three logical operator are and which is denoted by and person symbol or which is denoted by two pipe symbol and not which is denoted denoted by exclamatory sign number e write down the statement equivalent to a++ and a- equivalent to a++ is a plus equal 1 or a equal a plus 1 equivalent to a- minus minus is a minus equal 1 or a equal a minus 1 write the shorthand form of the following a equal a plus 15 b equal b plus 1 shorthand form of a plus 15 is a plus equal 15 and b equal b plus 1 is b plus equal 1 long answer questions explain the two types of comments in javascript two types of comments in javascript are single line comment it start with single pair of slash sign the browser ignores anything from the pair of slash sign till the end of the line 
two slash sign this is a single line comment multi line comment it is also known as block comment it includes more than one line between slash asterisk and asterisk slash characters for example slash asterisk this is a multi line comment star slash number b what are the rules for naming javascript variable the rules for naming variable in javascript are it should start with character small a to z or capital a to z number 2 it should not start with a character with a number number 3 it should not be a reserve word number 4 it should not be any space or gap between two words there should not be any space or gap between two words number c what are the limitations of switch statement answer the limitation of switch statement are the case level cannot be a variable the case level cannot be a range number d what are the difference between simple and compound statement answer simple statement it contain single line of instruction for example statement 1 comma a semicolon statement 2 semicolon compound statement it consist of several lines of instruction grouped in a block for example curly bracket on statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 curly bracket close question number e explain the working of conditional operator with example the conditional operator evaluate an expression returning a value after question mark if the expression is true or the value after value after question mark if the expression is true or the value after colon if the expression is false for example var m equal 45 result equal marks greater than equal 30 question mark pass colon fail as here condition is and document dot write result here the condition is true because the value value of mark is 45 and here i am comparing mark greater than equal to 30 so it is true that's why the result will be pass Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.